Hi everyone, welcome to week three of Veg Out with Sylvia. Today we are featuring some peas, but today we're in my garden because I actually happen to have some pea plants. And pea is actually not a vegetable, but it's a legume, which means this pod has seeds inside and that's what you eat. So to open up a pea, you can just rip off the top, split it open with your thumbs and you have garden peas. So you can eat them just like that. A pea is full of carbs and those carbs started as sugar, start out as sugars, but with time they convert to starch. So we wanna make sure that we're cooking these right away. So let's go inside and make some garden peas. Welcome back. All right, so this week's vegetables, we uh, received some garlic scapes, some spinach, some radishes, which will go into a salad. I'll probably saute those. Some uh, yellow squash that'll get made into a soup with the tomatoes and my Tuscan kale. Uh, this is, again, some leafy green lettuce. And those are our shelling peas. So we have already shelled them and we have about, I would say a good heaping half a cup. So we're gonna boil them. What does that mean? Well, we have about a quart of water in here. There are large bubbles. When we boil something, we wanna make sure the water tastes good. I'm gonna add a teaspoon of salt. I'm gonna just cook them in my strainer and well, when it comes to peas, you can cook them anywhere from a minute uh, up to about maybe five or more, depending on how tender that pea is, okay? And these peas are pretty tender. few peas and that's okay. So if you wanted to keep these for future use, you would shock them in an ice bath, put them on a tray, uh, dry them, and then freeze them and then put them in Ziploc bags dated. And then you basically just individually quick froze your peas so you ensure that they're nice and sweet. All right, so today's recipe is a pea crostini. We have some boiled peas. We have about a tablespoon of Parmesan cheese. We have the juice of a lemon, and I just cut it or slit it. And guess what? I lost a pepin. You don't want that. So that's the juice. We're also gonna get a little bit of the outside using our microplane, and that's gonna give it some nice brightness. We're gonna buzz this up, and then we're gonna put it on some toasted baguette that I have already toasted. We'll just give it a pinch more salt, not much because the Parmesan cheese is salty. A little bit of pepper and just a little bit of oil. I'm using some olive oil today. If you don't want olive oil, you could use butter. Some. If you don't have a food processor, 
You could also use a immersion blender and remember peas are high in protein as well as carbs and fiber which is why they're kind of it's nice and chunky which i kind of like Again, I have already toasted some baguettes. I'm gonna use our garlic scape, and I'm just gonna rub it on the crostini, and it's gonna get a little bit of garlic flavor. Typically, I do this with the garlic cloves, which is the bulb of the plant, but this is what we have, so this is what we're gonna use today. Why not? And it's gonna give it a little bit of garlic flavor. Now we're gonna make our bread taste good. We're gonna hit that with a little bit of salt. And a little bit of olive oil. And a little bit of our peas. Okay. Now the recipe also calls for a little bit of pine nuts, but I didn't have any, um, but I think it would have been a nice addition. Uh, but just to say, listen, it's a beautiful, a nice little appetizer to um, add to your repertoire, and I'm going to taste it. It's nice and light. It's sweet, a little bit salty. It's nice and well balanced. Make some pea crostini. Enjoy. I love you. Have a great day.